Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over a really common question that I get all the time and that is where do you attach to to pull the 5.4 3 valve engine? I use a two ton hoist because it reaches back really far and you can see right here on the front bumper how it'll go right up to the bumper. Now if you actually hit the bumper you need to put some pad or something there. Now you can use a leveler but I don't use one. It just makes it harder. I basically just come back here whenever I take the intake off alternator sets right here in the crossover pipe you'll see three holes in the block I clean those with a 10 by one and a half um, thread uh, tap which is right here I clean those up and then I also run a bolt on the rear side there okay you had to take the bolt out from the transmission side. Those are the upper main bolts. So I run a bolt back in backwards right there. I know you can't see it with the wiring too well, but I run a bolt backwards right there with the bracket. And you can see the chain coming forward, bolted right there. And then I use a, uh, a carabiner clip to take up the slack. And then the hook is right there. Now you want to get this as low as possible so that you have plenty of room to work with. You end up coming up here and hitting really quickly if you don't get it far down. So the, the closer you get the hoist arm down, the easier it's gonna be for you to pull it out. But hopefully that answered your question with where you attach the chains at. As far as leveling it, if you have a problem with leveling, I use ratchet straps. I'll attach a strap up top here and then I'll go around the back of the engine to pull on it or I'll go the opposite way and come forward and just pull on the lip or whatever just to level the engine. So I'm used to doing it like that. And I know uh, a lot of people are probably not gonna like doing that. Uh, one, because if you ratchet it up too tight and you have to let go of it, it all of a sudden drops the engine wherever the ratchet strap was. But whenever you do them as often as I do, then you pretty much know where you gotta tighten it up to. But anyways, I hope that uh, my video helps someone out today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, like it, share it, and leave your comments below. Stay tuned for the next video, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone.